the line. Three, two, one, go. Robots moving across the field during our autonomous portion of the match. They're working on pre-programmed settings. Red Alliance robots shooting those power cells into the power port. Teleoperated period has begun. Drivers taking control of their robots on the field. Red Alliance with the lead 46 to nine for the Blue Alliance. Robots moving around that field, picking up those power cells. They can score those power cells in either the top or the lower ports. CIS along with 802 on the Red Alliance, scoring in that upper goal. The upper port is worth two points. If you're able to get in the inner upper port, that's worth three points. Red Alliance still holding the lead with a minute and a half left to play. 46.07 CIS still scoring into that top port along with their Alliance partner, the Knack. Thirty eighty two. that's Chicken Bot Pie. They're over on the Red Alliance side. Might be trying to play some defense. The Knack scoring four more of those power cells into the upper port for the Red Alliance. Blue Alliance robot now shooting the ball. It's up and over. Seventy forty-eight. Another power cube just high of that upper goal. That's Red River Rage. Red Alliance still holding the lead. That noise means that we are now in the end game portion of the match. 25 seconds left to play. The Asteroids are getting close to Fort First City. Robots making their way to the center of the field. Red River Rage reaching up, so is the Knack on the Red Alliance. Two robots apiece in the rendezvous point. Seven seconds left, two red robots off the ground. They're going for that hang. That earns them 25 points apiece. Red River Rage also off the ground. They have to stay that way for five seconds to count as a hang. And that ends qualification match. Red Alliance will walk away with the win with a score of 162 points. Blue Alliance with 44 points. The Red Alliance was awarded three ranking points, two for winning the match, and one for having the shield generator operational. At